Hello, welcome to the Shark Scale. Today's movie is 90210 Shark Attack. Oh yeah, this movie, well, this movie just, you know, I don't, I don't do these because I hate movies. I don't do these because I hate sharks. It's quite the opposite. I love sharks. I like shark movies. But then sometimes you just watch a movie like this and you really question what you're doing with your life. Like, you really wonder what your purpose is. Like, we have a limited amount of time on this earth. Even more so with how we're probably all going to get annihilated by global warming or whatever it is for the word of the day of why we're going to die. But seeing this movie really opened my eyes. It made me realize that I need to do something more with my life. So that is why I did a video on it. So here's the shark scale on 90210 Shark Attack. Let's just get right into it. Alright, well, let's talk about the plot for this movie. Well, it takes place at this house, presumably in Beverly Hills. It features a number of college students and a teacher. Uh, they're there for some class that could be taken over the course of a few days as an elective. They're going on fishing trips or something, but they never show that. The group just sticks to the house. A few students are there to genuinely learn about aquatic life, and a few students are there to just mess around. For instance, the two students that provided the class with the house to stay for their trip just decide to get drunk and literally fuck around, if you get what I'm saying. In fact, the teacher also seems to be, uh, fucking around as well. So while it seems like a simple premise, uh, of with the students and the teachers going on a fishing expedition or whatever it is there is a bit more to that one of the students I forgot her name already has a dad uh, who is a bit of an aquatic legend he was apparently a well-known deep-sea diver explorer thief basically who had pillaged from villages and indigenous people taking their treasure and selling it however it seems that he was killed under shady circumstances his daughter happened to be with him when this happened however she lived and she is here on this trip taking this class just because they never really explain why she doesn't even know why either but she's still having a hard time coping with the loss of her father well, the teacher is a two-faced bitch who is actually just trying to get all the juicy details from her to try to make a movie or a book or something about her father to cash in and get a bunch of money. That's the only reason she's on the trip teaching the class, and it's to talk to this girl and get more details. Well, the girl also seems to have been cursed by the people who killed her dad. It seems whenever she gets excited, well, a shark literally comes out of her to kill her. And that's the entire plot of the movie. So, yeah, spoiler alert, sorry, that's the whole plot of the movie. There's uh, no actual resolution at all. The plot of the movie is just so stupid and so convoluted for no reason. It's such a basic plot, but they try to take it to such extreme levels that it honestly just becomes somewhat confusing for little to no reason. The character arcs in this movie are just bad and fall flat almost immediately as the arc begins to happen. The whole arc with the teacher is really bad as a whole. How she's actually just trying to make money or whatever, it's just stupid. The main girl with the shark curse is probably the only character that's even close to halfway decent. And she, as she's just a total bitch, and it's funny in that aspect. The other characters are just, a, they're just stale bread, and are as interesting as a plank of wood. They're all boring douchebags that really do nothing the entire movie. They bicker amongst each other, say the dumbest things, how they love each other after barely even knowing each other, and are literally just there to serve as cannon fodder for the shark. Legitimately, all the guys are hella buff in this movie and are bigger assholes. They're like super chads. The girls, they're there to just look pretty and that's it. The teacher is a witch also. The story and its characters are horrible. There's not even a real ending like I said earlier, there's just nothing. The girl with the shark curse just kills all the students and the teacher and that's it. There's literally nothing else to it. It's not even a good payoff for the story. Like, what the hell were they thinking when they thought this was okay? It was just really, really bad. Well, the next thing to go into is the shark screen time. Well, there's basically no shark screen time at all in this movie. First off, I'm going to exclude the stock footage scene that they repeat like three times. This does not count at all. This is very clearly stock from even like Shark Attack 1. I'm not counting this. I think there is 
less than one full minute of screen time for the actual shark. I'm not even kidding. There is less than one full minute of screen time for the shark. It shows up like five times and every single time it shows up is for like eight seconds. So it's literally less than a minute. In that aspect of the screen time for the shark, it's horrible. In fact, it's atrocious. In fact, it's god awful. This is ass. This is really ass. I cannot believe there is so little screen time. And every time the shark shows up, it's the exact same effect, model, animation. It's the same one with this ridiculous light that's wrong. The shark coming from her head and just moving towards the person. Same one, repeated a number of times. That's it. I don't even need to say any more than that. It's literally less than a minute. Less than a minute of shark screen time. Are you kidding me? In terms of the kills, they're just as terrible. They're all exactly the same. The shark shows up from the girl's head, and then it just shows the person screaming, and it cuts to another shot, and we just assume they're dead. That's literally it. They don't show anything. They do not even show you the kill. You don't see the shark do anything. You don't see the person even die. Zero. This gets a zero. The kills suck. The shark sucks. The shark itself looks terrible. For being on screen for literally like 50 seconds, at least you would expect a decent enough looking shark, but no, this looks like shit. It's just awful. There's nothing to comment on. It looks terrible. It looks like early to mid 2000s CGI, and this movie came out in the mid 2010s. How is everything related to the shark this bad? It's one of the worst looking sharks I've ever seen. And what it does in this movie is just as bad. It's just basically unredeemable. It's not even close to at all, like, so bad that it's kind of funny. It's just bad. It's the kind of bad that makes you frown and get mad and go, really? I can't even try to think of something close to positive to say about this shark because there is nothing. Speaking of nothing positive, let's talk about the acting. The acting in this movie is so unredeemably bad, it's not even funny. It's not even slightly entertaining because it's so bad. No, it's the kind of bad you would actually expect to see high school students actually do. It's incredibly stilted, it's incredibly awkward, and nobody talks normally. The douchebags just talk like total assholes, and nobody actually talks this terribly as an asshole. I'm sorry. So sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. Join in if you want. Sorry. Hey, can you bring your bags up here? Um, sure. The teacher is just so clearly trying to be a good person to get the story from the girl. And when she isn't with her, she's a conniving bitch. But it's just so ridiculously obvious. The other side characters that don't really do anything and are just there to get killed are honestly worse than porn actors. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a whim and say I could do better acting than these people. I legitimately think so too. I'm not gonna say I'm even good at acting or even okay or even decent, but I could do better than these people. I re really think so. They're just that bad. And this has gotta be just some of the worst acting I've ever seen in anything. It's just shockingly bad. I was just frowning like the whole movie because I was like, oh, this is bad. There's a couple parts of the movie where there's really no acting and it's just a character staring at another one and it's just super unnatural and just looks creepy. It also goes on for way too long. Like what you're seeing here is just sped up and look how long this is. Like what the hell? It's just so stilted. The dialogue is just so horrible. The writing is like ludicrously bad. I'm pretty sure even a college film student could make better films with better writing. In fact, I'm in college and I've seen student film projects in my campus and they're better than this piece of shit. They got better writing too. In fact, let's, you know what, let's just go to the conclusion. This movie is just absolutely awful. If you've seen this movie, I genuinely feel bad for you and now we are in an exclusive club known as the people who have seen this absolute cow pie piece of crap. So here is my overall opinion on the movie. It is generic. It is boring. It is terrible writing, dialogue, characters, acting, CGI, kills, 
a non-existent shark, a stupid plot, no payoff, no real plot development, no real arcs, it's filmed terribly, it has terrible music, it has terrible actors, it's not a very good looking house, even for LA, calling this a movie is like calling some of my older videos movies, in fact those are better than this crap, check them out. This has got to be one of the worst movies I have ever seen, and I actually really mean that. I genuinely think this movie is a piece of shit that's all dried up, eaten by some hyenas, then crapped out again, and then ran over by like a rhino, and then it sits there for like 10,000 years becoming decayed and prehistoric and just absolutely disgusting. And maybe, maybe that's how bad it is. I could genuinely write a better movie than this movie. In fact, I think you, the viewer, could write a better movie than this person, whoever directed this movie. It is shockingly bad. If you're looking for one of the worst movies ever, this is one to actually consider. Like, I have never seen a movie this bad, and I've looked at some real stinkers on this channel. Jurassic Shark, Jaws in Japan, and I'm just shocked that I was able to find a movie worse. I'm serious. I think this is the worst movie I've ever looked at on this channel. Jaws in Japan, it was even slightly better than that. And this, and I mean, that movie was basically just softcore porn with a funny CGI shark and in, it's in like 15 seconds of the movie. This movie has tons of dialogue and some form of a plot. And the shark's in like 45 seconds of this movie, but this movie is just much worse. Do not watch this movie. Do not think about this movie. Do not waste your time on this movie. Um, I would have been better. I would have been better off staring at a damn wall, watching a cow take a dump on a hill, looking at a tree blow in the wind. Anything is better than this. I can't believe a movie this bad even exists, and it's super contrived to say. But I mean it, this is legitimately like the worst movie I've ever seen, oh my god. Like, I just legitimately feel that. I can't think of anything that touches this movie except Jaws in Japan and maybe Jurassic Shark. But that's it. Like, and those two don't even touch this movie though. Like, in terms of how horrible it is. I'd have more fun actually being in class than watching this fake class in the movie. I have more fun driving in traffic just sitting there staring at the car move five miles in front of me, which is common in the Bay Area. I have more fun getting diarrhea and being stuck on the toilet for half an hour. I have more fun throwing up violently when I drink too much in my own party than watching this movie. That's how terrible it is. Okay, the rant's over. It's pretty obvious what it gets on the shark scale. This movie gets a 0 out of 5. It is just unwatchable. It is truly unwatchable. Nothing of any note happens here. If this movie had disappeared just like that from Thanos' snap, you wouldn't even know. You legitimately wouldn't have even known. And that's what you get from a 0 out of 5 movie on the shark scale. Nothing. It's nothing. This is nothing. This isn't even a film. Just after this movie, you need to erase this, after this video, you need to erase this movie from your entire mind, because that's what I wish I did. I'd rather watch porn than watch this crap. But uh, that's the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I pretty much just tore this movie a new asshole, I don't set out to do that, but this movie deserved it, and it pissed me off in many aspects. But uh, if you could follow the Twitter, subscribe, like, comment, tell me I suck, hate my guts. Whatever it is, I'd love to read it, love to hear it. Tell me what you're feeling. I don't know. Um, have a nice Christmas, everyone. Thank you.